so many of our students ultimately, whether they go directly out of school or they go straight to college and then beyond, will end up in a number of the businesses locally or in businesses like the ones that serve the Windsor community. And we really need then to have a better understanding of what the expectations are for the work sites that our students ultimately may um, enter. We have definitely had expectations that the teachers would come in here trying to gain information that they could take back to the classroom and relate to the student so the student knew why they had to learn the curriculum that the teacher was teaching them. And so far the feedback we've had from the teachers and the managers and employees that have been participating has been absolutely phenomenal got taxpayers out there that are always saying, well, what are my tax dollars doing going into the educational market? And the answer to that would be, if your tax dollars are properly preparing students, when they go into the workforce, they're going to be able to give transactions and business that's going to be absolutely top notch. So the business community is going to be one that is far advanced because they're not going to have to work on the elementary teaching of, of um, materials and items and techniques and processes to their new employees because they would have gotten it in the school system. So you've got happy taxpayers, you've got happy students, brand new employees, and the benefit is you've got a business community that's getting services and all sorts of results that are better than any of the surrounding communities. If uh, uh, you can help uh, plant a seed into the educational program that uh, could benefit kids coming out. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, some of the uh, information that I communicated today will transpire into the classroom and that'll just grow even a little bit more. Of particular note, Jennifer uh, mentioned that her kids in a math classroom setting have indicated to her they don't see how this, what they're learning is going to be applied in the real world uh, situation and uh, I think that's that's kind of the driving force that um, prompted me to get involved in this committee and this activity because I was one of those kids when I was going through school um, and it's important to me to try and give some of that back and try and you know push some of that back into the school system to make these kids understand that what they're learning in school is you know is applicable to what they're going to be needing to do when they get out of school. There is that gap between academic and applied sciences and uh, so I, th I think to, to bridge that gap is important and that that's, was the driving force for me. So the, with the home show they're actually able to build the scale model and then get evaluated on it. This my t tour here says, well, gee, maybe the material we were using wasn't really the best thing to use, right? Maybe there's a lighter, better, cheaper way to do this. Thing. Um, and so I'm going to incorporate that. So it's not just me. It's not my myopic little view. It's the way it really is. Um, I'm actually going to be using um, some of the ideas that I received here today in my classroom by giving my students a budget that they have to abide by and they need to go through and work out what they can spend, how they can spend it, and if it's, actual, if it's actually feasible enough for them to do that in, the, in their real life situations. When you really look today, the skills that are required in the working field, sometimes the, the educational field and the business field don't talk to one another as much as they should. And as a consequence, we don't have the ability to share ideas as to what will make these students more qualified and, and to give them a better sense of maybe what fields are, are more appropriate for them or will be a better fit for their particular personality attributes and skills. And um, the more we communicate, the better we're going to be able, the better job we're going to be able to do within the school system. I will bring back my experience from today into the classroom with having them, my students do a lot more oral conversations. Um, one of the things that I've learned from this experience today is just the basic conversations that sometimes the tellers or loan officers, a customer service need to just hold simple conversations to get information, you know, what is your address, what is your phone number, skills that we go over with our students at the beginning 
of the year and then we can just kind of tend to forget. Particularly today, we see a job market that is very, very tight. Everyone scrambles for the same employees. Everybody sits there and complains. Well, don't complain. Do something about it. Develop a partnership so that you're able to absolutely get the people that you feel are the best for your organization, but at the same time, you're also working with a school system and you're giving back to the community, which in turn gives back to everybody as a whole. So there, there isn't any reason not to participate in programs like this. It's the future. The youth is the future, and you've got to reach out into the school system. You do that by starting from the beginning. Having gone through it and um, been exposed to this particular institution and their commitment to uh, wanting to partner with us, uh, to me it's even more important that our staff and our faculty get involved in this program. I would definitely recommend it. It has to open my eyes into what kind of skills we need to prepare our high schoolers so that they can come out and join the workforce. Windsor Federal Savings is obviously a financial institution, but there are all kinds of fields out there. And the more we can get different types of fields with different perspectives and different qualifications that they need, and maybe attributes that are more appropriate for a different type of uh, a field, um, and we bring that to the, to the educational atmosphere, um, the better off the students will be. From the student's point of view, what we hope to do is ensure that they leave high school with a skill set and academic knowledge that is current, whether it be for them to go to institutions of higher education or whether it's to go immediately into the workplace. We need to, to, to really do what we should do for our students. We can't be giving them curriculum from the 1990s. We have to give them what they need in 2008.